So welcome to this video of Industry 4.0 Integration Suite. Uh, this is the getting started section which shows the installation of the required PC tools. This is the PC HMI editor and the SCADA server. We will use the PC HMI editor to configure the uh, connectivity, the connections to your PLCs and then we will connect um, some functional blocks to the PLC variables. So let's get started. So the first thing we have to do is to install these two components. Uh, to do so, go to the spidercontrol.net website to the download section and download the i4.0 integration suite uh, packages. Um, this uh, package will contain uh, two setups. First thing is the SCADA server. Uh, which you can uh, install by calling this um, uh, setup executable. And we have the SpiderControl HMI editor, SCADA version, which has to be installed separately. Um, after having installed uh, these two components, um, we'll have uh, this control panel, which allows you for controlling uh, the SCADA server, you can stop, restart it, uh, enter the uh, license code and modify the port. And we also have um, the Spider Control um, HMI editor, which will be first of all used to configure the drivers which will connect us to uh, the PLCs. To do so, we will open this editor and start the wizard. We will um, give this wizard a name so we will uh, send uh, store this project in a directory and let the wizard generate our first page so the first thing we have to do now is uh, to go to the SCADA configuration and we will add um, the first driver. So the first PLC that we want to connect will be a uh, SIMATIC S7-1200. To connect this we will choose the S7 ISO TCP protocol. Um, the IP address of our PLC is So this will be rack 0 slot number 1. So this will configure our first PLC and we will add a second PLC um, and the second PLC would be a backoff CX5000 um, and the easiest way to connect a remote backoff um, PLC is to use our CGI bin uh, protocol uh, as well as to use our web server on the backoff PLC to allow for making a local um, ADS success. So the IP address of the backoff PLC is this and we will for backoff we will have a, a variable list file available which we will import right here. So um, we will then press parse variable list which will parse uh, the TPY file and we will open the first page of this HMI just to enter um, a few um, edit fields to see if we can already access the variables um, from the PLC. So the first um, variable which we would like to have a look at is located on the semantic. So driver is called PLC0 um, and for the ISO and TCP driver we will use uh, a direct uh, DB notation, so the name will be DB1 DB.1 
w zero. You'll use the second one. And that it will be dbw two. And we will access um, the back of PLC. Uh, here we can press uh, this uh, variable list selector, and we have already the variables that we have imported from um, the variable list files available. So that will be an integer, and we will choose a second variable, which could be a string. Okay, next thing is we can compile and download, deploy this to our SCADA server. It will make a build all. And send all of this to the uh, www.hmi uh, directory. Then we'll have to once restart the SCADA server in order to read the driver configuration. Now we should be able to um, read our variables. So we have one variable um, coming from the uh, S7-1200, the second one to two. Um, we have a variable which is located on the back of and the text which is located on the back of PLC. The next thing is we will try to connect these variables to some uh, logic. So if we um, just call the local host address on this PC. Uh, this will open this default page and we have a link here to open the uh, web editor. And this web editor will allow us for designing a simple function block description logic. So um, this is the first page which is already the first sheet which is already um, available after installation and it's still empty. And we can now begin using our Spider PLC um, functional block description uh, programming tool and the i4.0 integration library, which uh, is visible here. So there is various topics um, for all kind of uh, operations, which will make it easy to uh, do some uh, logic which will combine, which will integrate PLCs to IT infrastructure. So the first thing we, from input output, we will um, get these uh, variables which we've just seen before into our logic. To do so, um, we can simply copy the names that we've already used in the HMI. So that will be PLC zero double quote d v one d v w zero v two and we'll also copy this variable which will connect us. We can, we will uh, send this to some local variables. So we'll connect this to outputs. Um, the spider plc contains some internal registers so uh, we will just copy um, our first variable to register one registers uh, called r and the number are 32-bit um, integers copy that to r2 and this to 
R3. You'll now make a build and run. So this will compile the logic and activate it. You will press save archive. This will save um, this project um, so it will be still available after you reboot your server and you'll call the debugger which uh, shows us now the values that we just read from the PLC. So if we go to our initial HMI and modify the values we'll have the same thing available in our logic and we're now ready to connect uh, these variables to uh, some uh, of the uh, more sophisticated functionalities of i4.0 integration suite. Uh, this will show in the following videos. Thank you for watching.